deserted cities are being taken over. As humans retreat in the face of the pandemic, nature is being more daring. From deer in London streets to dolphins in the Bosphorus, wildlife is flourishing in the time of the coronavirus. The absence of humans is being felt everywhere. This is New Delhi. The Indian capital is notorious for its smog, but now that pollution has all but disappeared. Such scenes reveal the impact of human activity on the environment. Some researchers believe it's our disregard for nature that's led to the rise of COVID-19. We know that the destruction of nature leads to the destruction of habitat, and that this is one of the reasons for pandemics. And with that knowledge, we simply have to act more decisively now. We have already laid this out in the first report of the World Biodiversity Council. But now is a real wake-up call to do more if we want to avoid pandemics in the future. In what ways has human behaviour made pandemics more likely? Deforestation, overfishing, industrial farming. Environmentalists say it's these kinds of destructive activities that are making it easier for viruses to jump from animals to humans. Forced out of their natural surroundings, an animal's immune system can be weakened, allowing their pathogens to spread. And as they flee to find new homes, they bring diseases with them. The result is this. Two-thirds of all infectious diseases in humans have their origins in animals. Another way is by killing predators, allowing their prey, such as rats, to multiply and further spread their viruses. Activists say climate change and its impact on biodiversity can also increase the risk of an outbreak. But it seems action on climate change has taken a back seat as countries deal with the coronavirus pandemic. As COVID-19 disrupts lives and devastates economies, will governments do more to stop disrupting and devastating the natural world, which may have got us into this crisis in the first place? Haida Abasi, The Newsmakers.